I do like that you're in red and I'm in blue. Was that intentional? No, this is someone? my middle school basketball. Get out. You still I found... your shit from middle school? No, this was supposed okay. to be so big. Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? No. Okay, this is Travis McElroy. No, I will, He's... I will. I'm Travis McElroy, I podcast a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a TV show on Verve, V R V dot C O. Mm -hmm. I do my brother, my brother, and me. Mm -hmm. I do the Adventure Zone. I do Schmanners. Mm -hmm. I do trends like these. I do run. I talk to fan cast. I do a bunch of other stuff. How do you have time? To I don't. Do anything? I don't. I'm podcasting two other shows right now while I sit here. I know. In your mind? Yeah, it's amazing, right? Okay, let's start. How do you identify? I identify as as male. Male and cis and straight, straight and all that. Yeah. And I, I mean, you're, this is my channel, so, but if you're new, uh, I'm a, a cis, a bisexual woman, she, her, whatever, or whatever, I don't care, whatever pronouns. My grandmother switches them all around all the time. When we met at PodCon, mm -hmm. we were talking a bit about how there's little things that we do in terms of gender presentation that are not yeah. necessarily like within the defined, this is what you do. Yeah. You kind of look like a lumberjack. You have like this kind of like full beard, big kind of thing. I'm a burly man. Yeah, yes. burly man. You, you choose to do like accoutrement. So like this your is hair right. is dyed. And and I, I wear like multiple the... rings and my mm -hmm. finger nails are painted and I'm not wearing my more flamboyant cowboy shirts, but yeah, that's yeah, kind of my flamboyant style. shirts. On some level, I recognize my own privilege in that as a straight white cis dude mm -hmm. across, all, uh, across all boards, it's easy for me to say, I think that the the constructs of masculine and feminine are almost completely manufactured. But yeah. at the same time, I also know that people who, for whom gender identity is very important, mm -hmm. how they present themselves is very important to them. And so for them, there is a certain quality of masculine versus feminine that is very important to them. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it keeps you safe. Has anyone ever messed with you about about anything? Right. Like no one's no. gonna step to you. I think you could do a lot of stuff before people would start messing with well, see, you. See, that's what I'm saying. Is I yeah. also have the privilege of, like, there is. I don't think there's anybody who's gonna be like, oh, I thought you were a woman at first. You yeah. Know? Like, that doesn't happen. That's not gonna happen to me. Yeah. Or somebody coming out going, what are you? Like, right. I'm not gonna get that. In college, I had a lot of people were like, so are you gay or what? Mm -hmm. A lot of times, trying to do this weird, helpful outing of like, listen, you can tell me if you're gay. I'm like, I'm really not. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. But when you're ready to talk to me, like. Okay. And you were like, I'm just friendly. I'm just very outgoing. <laughs> like, I got my degree in drama. It's okay, I'm but allowed I, to be a little flamboyant. But don't we all have a degree in drama? Don't we? Yeah. And that's the thing. So, like, it's interesting to me when you talk about, like, physical manifestations of gender versus the concept of gendered actions. So, yeah. like, changing a tire feels very masculine, <laughs> and sewing feels very feminine, where it's yeah. like, what? That I will stand by that there's no such thing as an especially masculine That's or feminine very action like that. Strange. Right? Yeah. That idea. Other than the history of it. At no. some point, somebody said, like, no, women shouldn't change tires. <laughs> and I was like, what? I like to bake, mm -hmm. and I like carpentry, and I like to sew, mm -hmm. and I, you know, it, and it's like, okay, cool. Huh? And like, when I tell people I bake, it, they ask, like, well, how'd you get started with that? Like, I know, but if. I like to bake. But if like uh, your wife baked, they'd be like, yes, obviously you yeah, have to. Yeah, totally. Well, there's that whole thing about how like uh, uh, men who are really good at cooking are master chefs and women who are really good at cooking are your grandmother. Yeah, right? And you're like, oh. for baking, it's like either, oh wow, he bakes, what a catch, or, well, he bakes, he's maybe a little. That is a thing uh, that you know. I, I will often get like, are you gay based on the fact that like I like to cross stitch and it's like no the answer is it's very zen meditative for me because it's something to do with my hands and I'm so overactive that having something to do yeah like feels me out queer culture is curbing your ADD right yeah right and like, why is nail polish for one gender for not, all, no for not all genders. That's weird. And I like, I, I grew up being so, like, because I did theater where, like, I would do stage makeup and then I would hit puberty where I had, like, really bad acne. And I remember thinking, like, I would like to wear makeup, please. Yeah. Like, I'm very self conscious about it. It's one of the reasons I have a beard, is I started growing a beard because I was so self conscious about my acne. I, I feel the same way about carrying a purse. Where it's like, I don't like having a thousand things in my pocket. It just should all be practical. Right. And that's why I wear a fanny pack everywhere. It's like a man purse. No. 
<laughs> but like that, even that, even that, me saying man purse is like, like it's, why? It's, just it's I mean, just a purse. It's still just like that. It's just a bag we put things in. No gender presentation, even as cis people, which we both are, gender presentation as reflecting on your partner. So I was like dating a, a dude a little while ago, and I start there's like gender neutral underwear companies like me like me undies has stuff like that but also tomboy x and there's like a gender neutral bathing suit company they're like called outplay and so i like would wear that stuff and it people would comment or there would be things of like how does he feel that you look like a little boy now it was like an indictment on him to be like oh is he like it's like a little gay yeah i remember i was at I think Universal, and I had my fingernails painted, and I was with her, and we were buying something, and a woman working the counter was like, oh, did she practice nail painting on you? And I was like, what? And like, I was taken aback for a moment, and she yeah. was like, no, he did that himself, what are you talking about? Yeah. And then was just like, okay, and then like went on with the exchange, but it was just like a, such a weird, like, why is that what you would assume? Yeah, that she forced you to do it, your right. crazy wife. Right. Uh, women, am I right? They yeah. always force you to let them paint your fingernails. That old so stereotype. My, this is the thing that I think kids, like my my child's generation is gonna be like, what's metrosexual? And I'm like, well, uh, there was this time. Where? <laughs> there was this time where to care about your appearance at all was in some way deemed as not just normal heterosexuality. Right, so we invented a new sexuality to explain caring about your appearance. Like, <laughs> we completely oh my, forgot about that era right? of our lives. Right, like that was a solid was period because change. I put gel in my hair and wore clean People clothes. People were like, you're metrosexual. Right, and it was just like, no, no I just don't want to look like crap. <laughs> Is yeah. that not okay? So why did you start painting your nails? It goes back to my wife and I, as part of our honeymoon, yeah. went to a murder mystery thing. It was a zombie themed murder mystery. I heard all about this. Please look up. I'll put a link. Ravenwood Castle. Everybody was encouraged to come as different characters of their own choosing. So my <laughs> wife and I went as a B-movie director and starlet and like really glammed up and like extra scarves and rings and she did like stilettos yeah. and like leopard print. Here's an aside. Uh, at PodCon, you were telling this story, and Hank interrupted to just go, "Was it? Se or is it sexy? Is it sexy? Can it be sexy? Yeah. Almost like he wouldn't go unless it was sexy." Yeah, just like, like I think okay. just like if you told Hank like, and I went to a nudist con, and he was like, "And was it sexy?" <laughs> Anyways, so I got all glammed up, and as part of it, painted my nails black, and like the whole weekend, Teresa and I just kept thinking, like, saying, like, "This looks good, right? I yeah. like this," and and so. At the time I was working as a carpenter, my nails were just always destroyed, so I didn't keep doing it. And then when I moved out here, I was like, you know, I kind of want to keep painting my nails. But I had this fear of not not judgment like people would bully me or make mm -hmm. fun of me, but more that like people would look at me and go, well, that's just Travis trying to get attention. It's an affectation. It's not a natural thing Travis would do. I think a lot of people who want to try different gender presentation type right. stuff are worried that their friends or whoever would be like, oh, you're just trying to do... Like when I started wearing button-up shirts, I had friends be like, what are you doing? Right, at first I only did like black mm -hmm. and gray and dark green. Mm -hmm. And then one time I did like a baby blue and like really loved it. Yeah. It really popped. And so then I started doing like bright orange and more shimmery mm -hmm. colors and I was like, God, this looks good. And it's mm -hmm. just, I really like it. I stopped. I stopped doing mine for the same reason because I felt like pressure, like I had to. Right. For to be, to like, oh, if you're a woman, you have to have it nice. And I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. I do it now. I get manicures a lot before we do like live show mm -hmm. tours. And I was just talking about it today with my friend Renee. And I do it because like it feels to me like getting ready. For, for stuff. It's, it, like I said, I used to do theater a lot. And yeah. so it's that like sitting in front of the mirror, doing your makeup, running lines, mm -hmm. you know, really getting into the show headspace. Show day. Uh, yeah, it's show day, right? Yeah. And so it's this feeling of like, I'm invested in this experience mm -hmm. and I'm invested in me and there's something I'm doing for me that also makes my audience happy mm -hmm. and like, I, I like it and they like it. Yeah. And I'm getting ready. It's presentation. It's like right. when you go out on stage and you're, and you're doing... Uh, music and you do like a lightning bolt on your face. Right. When I was like 21, there was a time where I realized like 
so much of my personality I had based off of trying to make my friends like me more. Yeah. And so it was like, not necessarily as as obvious as like, you like that movie, then I like that movie. Mm -hmm. But more just like, if they like had this kind of sense of humor, I would kind of match that. And when I was 21, I had this big like existential realization of like, I no longer know what core me is and what like yeah. the parts of my personality. What do I actually right? like? So I started really thinking about that yeah. at 21 and got really introspective about what is it mean to be me. Mm -hmm. And so stuff like painting my nails and tattoos and dressing cabin boots, and yeah, and that yeah. is like, oh, this is, I don't care what other people think about this. Because and you this should is be allowed, me. like you should be allowed to, to do different, to present differently, to like find yourself. You should also not shit on your friends who are doing right. that. Right. Like if your friend shows up one day and they're wearing something a little different, and they're like trying a different thing, don't be like, what is this? Yeah, or just say like, hey, it's a hey, great shirt. cool, I love it. When I started painting my nails, somebody tweeted at me like, so what point are you trying to make by that? Right. And I don't think they were trying to be judgmental. I think they were really trying to understand like, is this a protest? Some sort of political statement. Are you trying statement? to make a point about gender or whatever? Yeah. And I was just like, nah, I just like yeah. it. I just like doing it. I had a, a girlfriend a while ago who, um, was more before Ellen, who was more butch, and she would wear uh, like what we just saw Ellen wearing, like a, just a button down and like dressed very masculine. And I had never dressed that way. And then when I started dating her, I was like, well, I wanna try right. whatever. So then I started dressing that way. And like I said, like a couple friends were like, do, are you just becoming your girlfriend? You think you have to dress like this because you're gay now? Like, do you think you have to cut your hair because you're gay now? I had a guy in college who uh this girl had, like what had been like a hot girl and then she started dating women and she cut her hair and then all the guys were like oh of course once you start dating women you have to cut your hair you don't want to be hot anymore like it's this thing of like but but everyone's playing with identities and looks and stuff so and like let that, her do it maybe she's always wanted to cut her hair right, exactly. and she's been afraid to do it because right. she didn't want to get judged in the very way that like, you are judging her right mm -hmm. now Right? And so maybe it's like she's always wanted to do it. Someone was like, oh, you cut your hair and now men won't pay attention to you. I was like, honestly, that's not a bug, that's a feature. Yeah, right? <laughs> the only people I ever cut shit from about flamboyant choices yeah. are straight dudes who I'm definitely not trying to attract at all. They are nervous. You right? Make them nervous. Women tend to like nail polish on dudes yeah. and like anyone who's like, I care about my appearance. Really? We Tell me more it. about that. Yeah. And it's like, okay, cool. So like the group that I'm not trying to attract mm -hmm. doesn't like it. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. And, but don't and, give your friend shit if they're trying something yes. different. If somebody's ever like, I'm thinking about doing this. They're like, you know what, try it. I, I encourage people to try it now, especially yeah. dudes. Because it's like, you know what? You may not like it, and then you take it off. Yeah. But you might put it on and be like, wow, this makes me feel nice. This makes you feel important because I did something just for me. Maybe you love it. Maybe you don't, but like. It's temporary. Right. The idea of like, you're only doing this for attention is like, what are we all doing? Right? <laughs> Why does anybody do anything? People should just try stuff. Right. Who like, doesn't matter if it's like for one gender, for this gender, for that gender, whatever. Try it. Try it. Just tire changing is only for women. I think it's right. but there's only a, women can only change, women can change tires. tires. One of the things I really want to normalize mm -hmm. in 2018, it's gonna be one of my like goals of like telling people, if you think you look good, right, mm -hmm. and you wanna take a picture of yourself and post it, do it without any excuse. Don't be like, I just got these new earrings or whatever. Just post the guy and be like, I think I look fucking good right selfies, now. Selfies, unapologetic right? selfies. Right, because everybody tries, everybody tries to come up with like some excuse of like, isn't the lighting in here great? Like, just say, <laughs> I thought I looked hot today. Do that, That's it's so great and it feels wonderful and people respond to that well. Because I think everyone's afraid that people are gonna respond like, uh, conceited much? But really most of the time they're like, you do look good. You look good today. I lean Demi Lovato said what's wrong with being confident. Right? Well, thank you so much for coming on the channel. It's, it's wonderful. For wonderful this being discussion. Here. And then say where people can follow you. Um, so, I'm on Twitter, at Travis McElroy. Uh, you can go to McElroyShows.com to find all of our shows. M-C-E-L-R-O-Y Shows.com. We're on uh, Max Fun Network, but like we collected all of that and our, like, our YouTube stuff and everything weird is on McElroy yeah, Shows. Yeah, they're like a weird empire. My wife and I are going to be at Sketchfest 
Oh, uh, January twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth. Oh, I'll be in Florida. Uh, but we'll be doing Schmanners on the fourteenth if you want to come to that. And then I'm doing the Joko Cruise, uh, G- February eighteenth through twenty fifth. Cool. J O C O Cruise dot com. Check it out. It's an amazing lineup. Seems like you've been doing promotions all day. I really have. <laughs> Here's the thing: it's not promotion when it's an amazing thing that people are lucky to be a part of. Oh no! <laughs> Bye.